Hey everyone, I'm Tim Shields. I'm a landscape photographer. I hope that you use Lightroom because if you do, that means you're out there taking photos and that's a good thing. I'm gonna show you five awesome little Lightroom tricks in the next two minutes. Welcome to Two Minutes with Tim. Let's roll. Number five, say that you're using a small laptop and you want to see your photo as large as possible without having all of this background border taking up real estate in your photo. Here's what you do. Right click on the bottom bar and choose auto hide and then right click on it again and choose auto hide and show. Now from this point on, the bottom bar is invisible but when I bring my mouse down to the bottom, it pops back up again. Same thing with the left side and the right side. Watch me do it on the left. And now the toolbar on the left hand side is gone but when I bring my mouse over to the left, it pops up just like that. This is a great tool so that you can see more of your picture and less of the toolbars, but the toolbars are right back there when you want them. Number four is the crop guide overlays. Click R on your keyboard to bring up the crop tool with the overlay. This is rule of thirds and I use this one the most. Then cycle through the other ones by hitting O on your keyboard. This is diagonal lines, golden triangles, golden ratio, and the Fibonacci spiral, which I never use, but it looks really cool. And if you use this, you will appear a lot smarter than you actually are. And finally, aspect ratios. Now this I like. I have two aspect ratios chosen. I use the 16 by nine because I crop a lot for video. And I also have the one by one chosen because I crop for Instagram. But here's where you can change this. Go to the top, click tools, crop guide overlay, and choose aspect ratios. Here you can choose the aspect ratios that you use the most. So I've chosen the one by one and the 16 by nine. Click OK and it is saved. Number three is the clipping tool. I really like this one. Hit J on your keyboard and any blacks will show up as blue. These are crushed blacks and any blown out highlights such as the sun here or down in the river will be shown as red. Then you can change your white point or your black point in order to reduce any blown out highlights or to brighten up any crushed blacks. Number two is to add your personal logo to the top left corner of your Lightroom screen. Having your logo there can make your overall presentation look more professional, especially if you're showing your images to clients or you're doing screen shares online. To put your logo on Lightroom, click the edit option or the Lightroom option on a Mac, then identity plate setup. And from here you can upload your own logo or you can type in your own custom text with your name. And number one, this is a fantastic option if you're going to be showing your images to clients or to friends, or if you just want to eliminate the distractions of the toolbars. This is called the lights out function. Click L on your keyboard once and it dims the toolbars on the sides and the bottom. Click it again and it makes them go completely to black. This way you have no distractions, no other light that interferes with the image that you're looking at. Click it a third time and you've got your toolbars back. So that was five tips in two minutes. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment and please hit the red subscribe button and the bell beside it. See you in the next video. Bye.